Hello there, I'm a member of the training team and today I'm going to show you how to use the point of sale screen in the system. You'll use this screen to sell items to patients in your practice such as vitamins, protein snacks, or gel packs. The point of sale tool can be reached from the schedule view. In schedule, either search for the patient using the fields on the top left or click on appointment to populate those fields. I'm going to type in the name of my patient. Then click on more and then point of sale. The point of sale screen will open as shown here. Use this window to sell items to patients. You can post a credit card, ACH, cash, or check payment for that item in this window as well. I'll show you how to complete a cash transaction in this video. First, make sure that the physician is correct in the drop down to the right and the date is correct as well. Then, scan the item if your practice uses a barcode scanner. If your practice does not use a scanner, search for the item in the barcode POS info field. You can type in the CPT code for the item if you remember it, or just start typing in the name to initiate a search for the item. Let's say the patient wants a fiber bar. Take a look at the shopping cart below. The item appears in the cart. Now you can add and subtract items to this cart if you need to. Let's say you accidentally selected this item. You can click on the small red X over to the left to delete the item. You can also use the arrows under the quantity dropdown towards the right of the screen to increase or decrease the number of items purchased. You can change the price, discount percentage, and tax percentage in this screen as well. In practices that do not have a manager override, the price, discount, and tax fields can be edited for each item in the shopping cart as soon as you add any items. If there is a manager override button in your practice, then click on it and practice management can type in their override pin in common to allow those columns to be changed. The pen would go here, and the comment would go here. Once the manager does that and clicks OK, the manager override button will disappear. You can then enter in the discount manually. So let's say the patient is ready to check out. Click on the green cash check button as the patient is paying cash in our example. Simply select cash as the payment type and then save and paid in full. When I click this button, the correct amount will auto populate in the payment amount field. If the patient is paying by cash for a portion of the price of the item, Enter the payment amount, the type of payment, and then click the Post Charges and Payments button. In this demonstration, I am all set up to sell the patient a one-time purchase of the gel in the fiber bar. So I'll select Save and Paid in Full and complete my transaction. To print a receipt, select the Print Receipt button to open a new window showing all the patient's POS transactions for the current day. Click the View Print as PDF button to open a PDF version of the receipt. This can be printed using the Print button or saved to your hard drive. 
Now, one more thing about POS sales before we go. You can pay by credit card in this window by clicking on the blue credit card ACH processing button. This will bring up the credit card processing window and you can post your payment there. In some credit card processing systems, you will have to tag the payment as POS. This button is for integrated credit card processing companies only. For non-integrated credit card processing companies, you can click the green button like we did before, but instead we can post a credit card payment. You will still need to swipe the credit card through your non-integrated system. Well, that's all there is to this video. I hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.